Lesson 65. My only function is the one God gave me. Hi there. Have you ever felt that the goals you're currently pursuing might not align with your true purpose in life? What if the world has led you to chase after goals that don't truly fulfill you? A Course in Miracles suggests that our true purpose is quite different from what we've been led to believe. Let's explore what Lesson 65 has to reveal about that. My only function is the one God gave me. Today's idea reaffirms our commitment to what truly matters, our salvation. Despite the myriad of thoughts that occupy our minds during our busy days, in truth, we have no other purpose than this. It's a truth we must accept sooner or later, our sole function is salvation, and we have no other function beyond that. Consequently, embracing salvation as our only function involves two key steps, first, acknowledging that salvation is indeed our true purpose, and second, letting go of all other goals we believe we have in this world. My only function is the one God gave me. This is the only path to finding our place among the saviors of the world, and it is also the only way to achieve true peace of mind. From now on, let's aim to dedicate 10 to 15 minutes for a more extended practice session to deeply understand and internalize each idea of the day. Ideally, let's try to do this around the same time each day, scheduled in advance, and make every effort to adhere to this timetable as closely as possible. The objective is to structure our day in such a way that we always allocate time for God, apart from our mundane daily tasks and chores. This scheduling will be an integral part of the discipline required for our training, allowing the Holy Spirit to use our mind consistently for the purpose He shares with us. During this extended practice session, we'll start by revisiting the idea for the day. My only function is the one God gave me. Next, we'll close our eyes, repeat the idea once more to ourselves, and then observe our mind for any thoughts that come through. Let's not force ourselves to focus solely on thoughts related to the day's idea. Instead, let's observe these thoughts as they arise, without attachment or judgment, and with minimal involvement or concern. We'll identify thoughts that appear to interfere with our acceptance of our function. As we notice them passing through our mind, we can gently dismiss them by acknowledging. This thought reflects a goal that is preventing me from accepting my only function. After a while of engaging in this practice, we may find that interfering thoughts become harder to find. Let's continue for another minute or so, attempting to catch any other thoughts that might have escaped our attention earlier, but always continuing the practice in a relaxed and peaceful state. Then, let's tell ourselves. On this clean slate, let my true function be written for me. We don't need to use these exact words, but let's set the intention to simply let all our illusory goals be replaced by our true purpose. After setting this intention, let's repeat the idea for the day once more and spend the remainder of the practice period reflecting on the idea and its significance to us. Shall we go through the process again with today's idea? Begin the practice by stating, My only function is the one God gave me. Then close your eyes and repeat, My only function is the one God gave me. Observe your mind for any thoughts that may arise to interfere with today's idea. For each of these thoughts, remember not to engage or form attachments or judgments. Simply dismiss each thought by saying, This thought reflects a goal that is preventing me from accepting my only function. After some time, you may notice interfering thoughts become less frequent. Continue the practice for another minute or two, always in a relaxed manner. Then, gently affirm to yourself, On this clean slate, let my true function be written for me. Affirm that with the intention of being willing to having your illusory goals replaced by your true purpose. After that, repeat again. My only function is the one God gave me. 
Then, spend the remainder of the session contemplating this idea and its significance to you. Consider the peace it will bring once fully accepted, and understand that beyond the superficial goals you believe you have in this world, what you truly seek is salvation to fulfill the function God has given you. My only function is the one God gave me. Let's keep in mind, this is the solution to every challenge we face today and the answer to everything we've been seeking since the beginning of time. Today's idea places the key to the door of peace firmly in our hands. My only function is the one God gave me. Let's remember this during our shorter practice sessions, which should occur at least once every hour, using this version of today's idea. My only function is the one God gave me. I want no other and I have no other. For these practices, we can sometimes close our eyes, and other times we can keep them open, observing the world before us. It is what you see now that will be totally changed when you accept today's idea completely. It's truly remarkable, isn't it? How does this align with what your heart tells you about the true purpose of our being here? Doesn't it feel like everything is starting to make more and more sense with each passing day? You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.